All right, everyone, we are back after the word problems with linear equations today. And to start us off, we're going to start to think about uh, some of the words that you come across when you do these word problems. Addition is one we come across. And I know a word that when I have some, that means yeah. addition. What other kind of words do we have there? Um, you could have the sum, or we could, we could say plus instead of add. Right, or it could be add. Or the total of. Total of. Or more, more than. Sometimes yep. that has, like, I'm, it's four more than. Yep, yep, X. that's a good one. You, there's probably loads more. If you could, maybe you can think of a few more yourself as well. Subtraction. Well, difference, difference is the main one. That's the one we always hear all the time. The difference of less than. Yep. Um, well, and then just other words for subtraction like minus. And right. Multiplication. Product is probably the, the most mathematical word, isn't it? Indeed. Indeed it is. The product. Um, or times or lots of. I oh. guess you say, you can say like three lots of four means three times four. A lot of. Um, bit of an English one. That is an English one because I got lots of. Oh, I got lots of, lots of money in my bank account. Well, that would be Mr. Gates, perhaps, but uh, not myself. Um, then we go to division, and that is going to be the quotient. Or maybe it might be groups of. Groups? Yeah. Groups of could be division or could be multiplication. They can both, depending upon how it's worded. Yeah, and they kind of say, like, how many go into. Yeah, go into. So those are some key things to look at when you are reading these word problems to try and... Put... Oh, share. Shares. Oh, share. Nice. That's probably enough. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's actually do some of these examples so that we can work through them. The first one is 242 is equal to a number increased by 117. Well, find the number. Well, let's assign it a variable. And one of the things I want you to make sure you do is you define your variables clearly. So let's say x... We're going to say, is the number. We didn't do increase, did we? Oh, we didn't. <laughs> increased. Let's say increased. <laughs> increased. And so decreased. decreased. And reduced. Reduced. Oh, good words. We'll probably keep on coming up with more. So x is the number. And so 242 is equal to a number increased by 117. So x, if I increase x by 117, it has to be equal to 242. And so I can set up this equation by the words, subtract my 117. Oh, Mr. Cole, I'm going to put you on the spot there. What Whoa. is 242 minus? So if I What's do that, gonna be? 242 minus 125. 125. Well done. Okay, so that is my number. Next example, here's no, example two. This one here, I want you to do on the form, on the Google form. Try it yourself. Yeah, make sure you put your answer for number one in as well. Uh, okay, so that we may make sure you do it. So put this answer, put into Google form, please. We've already done it for you. Okay. It's an easy one. Everyone should get 100% on that one. So that's question one. Question, question two, do yourself. Yes. What is the answer to be determined? Question three and question four we have. This is, I'm going to say, do this one yourself. Google form. The answer is the yet to be determined. Can you, I can barely hold on to my anticipation of what the answer is going to be. Uh, what are they going to give us? How I? Okay, and so then finally... We'll We'd better do, do one. We'll do one. <laughs> All right, so the fine for speeding in, in euros is 5 euros for every kilometer per hour over the speed limit, plus a 10 euro processing fee. If a motorist was caught speeding was fined 75 euros, by how much were they exceeding the limit? So let's introduce our variable. Let's say x, and we'll say speed over the limit, over so if my speed limit is 100 kilometers per hour and I'm traveling 121 kilometers per hour, that means x would be 21 because it's over the speed limit. Okay, so let's 
see if we can make some kind of equation up for this scenario. Mr. Cole, what are, what are you been thinking about while I've been writing? Okay. So we've got, well, five times x, because every time we go one kilometer over, we're going to times it by five. That's going to be our five euro fine. Right. And then we need to add this processing fee. So that's, that doesn't depend on x. That's just add 10, not add 10x. Okay. And that's going to give us our 75. So if we subtract our 10, we get 5x is equal to 65. Yep. Divide by 5, and x is? 13. 13. We could have let them to do that one, shouldn't we? Should have left them hanging at that point. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> All right, and so x is 13 kilometers per hour over the speed limit. And you can put that into your, put just in, put 13 into your Google form. Google, hooray.